Can you say good morning? Say good morning! You better say good morning, you little. Hi, you hold it? Hi! Say hi guys! Hi guys! Say how are you? How are you? Say welcome back. I'm back. To another video. Amen. We love you so much. Amen. <laughs> Give them kisses. Oh, it's very sweet. Come on, let's go get in the car. Okay, good morning, guys. As you guys saw, we are now in the car. It is just Avery and myself. We just dropped off Katie's car to get the AC fixed, finally. I think it's been like a month and a couple weeks. Anyways, Katie is actually with her mom. She's volunteering. She's helping her at like her job. And we are going to go and pick Katie up. But I think we're gonna stop and hang out for a little bit too, because they're doing like a really cool like golf tournament type thing with a whole bunch of activities. And um, Ella is with her, and I think the AV would have fun. No? Okay, you can stay in the car. Why is it so zoomed in? Why is it always so zoomed in? Bro, why are you coming at me so hard? All right, so we all left the golf tournament. Ella and I woke up. Well, I woke up at 5.30. I woke up Ella at 5.50, so we're definitely taking naps today. But um, we are so hungry. It is 10.35. We haven't eaten anything today. None of us have. Either of the girls. Oh, you haven't either? I haven't eaten anything. So we're here at Urban Egg, and I've been really wanting to get Urban Egg for a while. It's like a brunch place. I've been really wanting it. So. Oh, I'm so excited. We're at Urban Egg. She always what says that. She, I'll, I'll be like, oh, we're going to Target. She's like, what kind of Target? Or like, and she just said, what kind of Urban Egg? Like, I don't <laughs> I know what that heard means. Never say that, really. Yeah, I don't know why she says that. <laughs> oh Here. Goodness. So then you dip it in the syrup. Wow. You dip, dip. Okay, hey, Ella. Ella, what did you get? Oh. Okay, go ahead. Ella, what'd you get? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, that is so. Okay, here, let me help you. Oh, wow. Let me help you. Let go. Let go. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe we should pour some out? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Ella, what did you get to eat? Bacon. And French toast? Here, I'll pour some on here for you. Wow, look at you, Abe. Nice. Um. Oh, I think mine looks the best. Everybody is asleep except for me. Avery is down for a nap as well. I'm really not that tired, so I'm just gonna hang out. I'm playing some video games right now, watching a video, just hanging out. Okay, you guys, I have no idea what we recorded last. It is 6.10 right now. We actually just left Sky Zone. We had a really fun time with our friends, Damar and Maria. We haven't seen them in a really long time, so we just went and like hung out, and we're actually about to go over to their house for dinner. You guys don't know this entire situation because every time we've talked about it, I've just like deleted the footage because I'm like, I'm just gonna wait for the day that it actually happens, and today it's actually happening. I have a Jeep Cherokee and Right before we moved out of our townhouse, like at the end of June, my car started making a weird sound. The air conditioning wasn't coming out. And I was like, oh my gosh, my AC's broken. Like something was wrong with the car. We were so busy like moving out and then moving into my mom's house that we didn't um, get a chance to call. And then when we finally did call, we didn't get an appointment for like three or four weeks to come get it seen. Or maybe it was like three weeks that we didn't, that we had to wait. We waited and we got it in the second week of July. 
we got it in here at the dealership that I bought it from. They told us that my AC compressor needed to be replaced and that they were going to order the parts and it would be here in 10 days. That's what they said. In 10 days, we're gonna order it, we'll get it fixed. 10 days comes around. What? It's all done. Go get in your brand new car, baby. I'm like trying to explain what happened. Yeah. Um, so 10 days comes around and we didn't hear anything and I think Ben called and he was like, do we need to set up an appointment for us to go in and get the AC fix? And they were like, oh, well hopefully later on this week, they're like, well hopefully later on this week we'll actually have the part. They didn't have the part yet. So we were like, okay, we'll, you know, wait till the end of the week. The end of the week comes, Ben calls again. I'm pretty sure you were calling like I left three voicemails. Lot. No, I left. And they I, were answering. Yeah, well, I just kept leaving voicemails because he wouldn't answer, so. Yeah, so then. And this isn't like, a, this is like a, a dealership. The end of the week comes and they are like, sorry, we can't find a part anywhere. They never actually ordered one. They're like, we can't find a part anywhere. We're going to try and find one in California. Um, no, 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 this was before that. So they were like, sorry, we can't find a part anywhere. They're not gonna have any parts in until September 1st. Yeah. So we had been waiting for like three weeks that we had wasted and that, that we could have taken my car somewhere else and we were waiting on this part. And Ben was so upset because I've been driving around. I can't drive Ben's car, it's a manual. I don't know how to drive a manual. We've been driving around in a hot car. Like I've been driving around, it's all black and nobody has been keeping us like updated with it and we have already paid for it first of all like the, when we took it in the first time we had already paid for all of this so we were just waiting on it and we could have taken it somewhere else in that yeah. in that time frame so anyways they were like september 1st and so ben's like can you get me in contact with a higher up or manager because this situation is just like ridiculous we were so frustrated at this point we were really looking forward to getting this done a person calls him the next day right yep. somebody calls him the next day and was like Hey, I'm really sorry about the miscommunication. I found one in California. I'm gonna try and overnight it and see if we can get your car in, in these next few days. And we were so excited. We were like, oh my gosh, that is so exciting. Yay, thank you so much. So then, oh, he's like, I'll get back to you by lunchtime tomorrow. Lunchtime tomorrow comes around. We didn't hear anything. So Ben called back and he's like, yeah, we couldn't get the one in California. There's one in New Hampshire that we are going to try and overnight and hopefully it'll be here on Monday. Yep. And we were like, great, yay, it'll be here on Let Monday. Monday Why comes, not? we call. They were like, oh, Why we not? couldn't get it over the weekend. It'll be here tomorrow no, on Tuesday. Yes. Every time we called, it was no, like, it was pushed it. back. Whether it was a day or weeks or months, like it just kept getting pushed back. So See? I was so 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 frustrated at this point this was earlier this week mm -hmm. yeah it was like on was this monday week. this week um is when they said it'll be here tomorrow and they were like it's we're gonna set you up for an appointment on friday because we don't we can't get you in before this. so we had our appointment today on friday when it got here on tuesday and you guys i'm so happy that this is done if i go and turn my car on and then it doesn't work i'm gonna be so upset but i am so glad that this hassle is over with and we are done and hopefully it will work and there's just a three, fine there's a, there's a three year warranty on it really mm -hmm. so, so i am about goes. to go to my car right now for the first time and turn on the ac that i haven't been able to do in months this entire summer i have gone without an ac good thing we live in colorado and not like yeah, I know. texas or something would... i'm going bye See ya. See Okay. Managers, okay. drivers, cooks, and more. Full and part time positions available. Oh, the AC's on. The AC's on. Oh, my. Praise God. I, you guys have no idea. I've been rolling with the windows down these past few months, which isn't too bad, but it is kind of bad when you have kids and like I have to take them somewhere and like we have to we have to like go with the windows down and they get so hot like I feel so bad and this thing was not cheap either that's the thing that we were also like so frustrated about is like we paid a lot of money I think that's also why we were super frustrated because we had already paid the money and it was not cheap and since it kept getting pushed back and we had it was just so incredibly frustrating. But it's working. It's 
so oh my gosh this is so relieving you guys have no idea but now <laughs> The day that I get my car fixed, Avery threw my phone and completely cracked the entire thing, including my camera and the entire back. Well, you can't really see it. Maybe I'll show it in a second. The entire back is completely cracked and I know you're gonna say it's probably because I don't have a case on. And I know, I haven't had a case on my phone for a while and we've been planning on getting me a new phone for a little bit, but now I'm like, okay, the day that I finally get my car fixed, like a big expense that we had to pay, now my phone is out of service because obviously I work on my phone like I need my cameras to work and now we're going to have to buy me a new phone tomorrow probably so that's that's very nice oh well we're just thankful that the car's done I don't have to roll my windows down the girls can be comfortable in my car again and if you guys have AC in your car that works just take a minute and be thankful that that works because it's really the little things in life that you don't think about that when they go away and when they are not working is when you're like wow I should have appreciated this so much more so this is your daily reminder to be thankful for the little things especially AC in your car in the summer <laughs> And we haven't picked up the camera. We've had a rough couple of days. Yesterday I was down and out. I was not feeling good at all. I had like another wave of morning sickness. I was sick all day long throwing up. It was horrible. You wanna see? Okay. You can see Avery. She had a bath last night. So her hair's a little her hair's a little cray cray. Say good morning. No, you can't hold it. Today I am like so nervous this morning. It is not even 8 o'clock yet, and my mom's gonna be here in like 30 minutes. Um, this morning we are going to a new um, doctor, a new office, because as you guys know, like at the beginning of my pregnancy, we found out that our insurance was not going to cover my pregnancy, so I had to find a new office. And that's what today is, they couldn't, I think I scheduled my appointment almost a month ago. You dropped your spoon again? On purpose. I scheduled my appointment like a month ago. Today's finally the day, it has finally come. And another reason why I'm nervous, not only is it like a new office, a new doctor, I have to do like the whole beginning stages of everything, like probably get my blood taken. And they're most likely going to do an ultrasound as well. And I'm pretty sure by the ultrasound, you can, you'll be able to tell if it's really a girl or if it's a boy. And I feel like, I don't know, these past couple of days I've been feeling so nervous about Disappointment. Okay, I went upstairs because Avery just will not stop screaming. And now she's upset because she got in trouble. I've been so nervous about this appointment. If you guys go online and you read the sneak peek reviews, they're not great. Like, they aren't as good as you might think that they might be. And a lot of the times when people got a wrong result, it was... They got a result that it was a boy and it actually was a girl because the test got contaminated somehow with like male DNA. But there are a bunch of them that also say I got a girl result, went into my ultrasound, found out that it was a boy. I just think that I feel like I'm finding out for the first time today if it's a girl, like we're just confirming that it's a girl and I can actually start buying stuff. If we find out that it's a boy, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to lose my mind just with an emotional roller coaster of this whole thing and I will never be taking a sneak peek test again. It's just I feel like anything could happen and I'm really nervous. Like to give you guys where I'm at, what I think they're going to tell me, I think that they're going to tell me that it's a girl but I also think that there is a possibility that they could tell me it's actually a boy. Like I said, I feel like I'm figuring out for the first time today like what it is. I haven't bought anything, any clothes, any furniture, like any, any, anything because I don't want to start buying stuff and then have to like buy all different stuff if that makes sense so I've been holding off until this appointment to like officially officially be like okay it is this or it is this you know so my appointment we have to leave in like 30 minutes I have to get the girls ready my mom will be here and I'm just I don't even know how to put like my feelings into words and I'm like trying to explain it to Ben that I feel like the sneak peek test was a guess of what it most likely is because it's it's not like a I went to the hospital and the hospital did a full workup on the baby's DNA and did like DNA testing on it. No, it's like not like that. It's like just a, like if they find the male 
if they find any male DNA in it, then it's most likely a boy. If they don't find any male DNA in it, then it's most likely a girl. I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying. I don't have to keep repeating myself over and over again. I'm just really scared and nervous. I just feel like we're going in to find out for the first time, like, what it is. So I have all of those emotions. Ben, I think, says that he thinks it's they're going to tell us that it's a girl. Okay, my mom okay. is here with the girls. What do you think they're going to say? Well, first they're going to say, surprise, it's twins. No. no. <laughs> it's the process. Did you see I was live? It's a boy and a girl. So, no, I said <laughs> if the blood test was right, yeah. and if we're having twins, then it would be two girls. Because there's oh. no male DNA detected. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm going to say... They're going to say it's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. I think they are, but... It's a girl. Amy, no. what do you think? Are you just going to be fighting while I'm gone? Ella, uh, what do you think? Do you think they're going to say a boy or a girl? I'm a girl. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. What do you think, then? I think girl. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they tell me. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You set my world on fire. You're